All right, President Biden is conceding that his $2 trillion Build Back Better plan won't pass by a year-end deadline. And now a key provision of the bill for working parents appears to be headed for the chopping block. CBS's Nancy Cordes has a look at the real-life concerns behind the issue of paid family leave. Molly Moons is an ice cream chain in Seattle. It's named after its founder, who had an epiphany after giving birth in 2013. Oh my gosh, I needed to stay home for about 12 or 13 weeks. It was then and there that Molly decided to provide paid family leave to all 200 of her employees. The first person to take paid family leave to have a baby was my, actually my executive assistant. And I've retained her and so many other Moon Crew members for far longer than they thought they would stay at an ice cream company because of paid family leave. But her business is far from the norm. Just 23% of U.S. workers get paid leave from their employers. Just six states and D.C. guarantee it. And Nevada, where Kelsey Daniels lives, isn't one of them. I don't have any paid parental leave at this point. Daniels had a baby boy last month and is depleting her savings in order to stay home for 12 weeks, time she says she needs to heal. I do have a very physical job as a physical therapist. The quality of the work that I would provide no. to the families wouldn't be the same. More than 180 countries now guarantee workers between 4 and 12 weeks of paid leave. The U.S. is an outlier. The United States is falling further behind other high economies in terms of the number of women working, in terms of women's salaries and earnings. The president's Build Back Better plan initially included 12 weeks of guaranteed paid leave. Senate Democrats paired it back to four weeks to try to win support from holdout Joe Manchin. But he wants it cut out completely. Now, paid leave, I think, should not be in this piece of legislation. I've been very clear. Now, President Biden is signaling he might be able to live without it. Would you sign it if it doesn't contain paid family leave? I will sign it, period. Democrats are still hoping they can convince Manchin to come around, but paid leave is not his only sticking point with this bill. And with Republicans universally opposed to it, the White House needs Manchin's support, which is why he and the president are now in near daily communication. Nora. Nancy Cordes on that very important issue. Thank you.